Welcome back to the channel, Jim here. Today's video is buoyancy two, more emphasis on using the lungs. If you wanna boost your buoyancy and you're not great at using your lungs, stay tuned. I'm gonna give you a couple tips on how to increase your buoyancy skills. And I think any advanced diver you ask will agree that if you really wanna notch up your buoyancy to next levels, you're gonna to have to master using your lungs for your buoyancy. And if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, they do, a couple videos mention using your lungs for buoyancy. And today that's all this is about, short video, just concentrating on that. First, when you descend, right? When you hop in the water, uh, a lot of folks don't take advantage of something they could take advantage of in. When you get in the water and you're emptying your BC and trying to get down, <sighs> Exhale a bunch as well. It's gonna help you get down. Especially when you're weighted correctly. Let me converse that. When you're weighted incorrectly, you might be used to, as a beginner, bombing down because you're so overweighted. However, when you're weighted fairly correctly, you, you don't have all that extra weight to just bomb you down at the beginning of the dive. Descending is gonna be a little bit more of a subtle experience rather than that bombing down when you're overweighted. So. Emptying those lungs is going to really help you out. So right at the start of the dive, use the lungs to get down faster. Next, once you're down there, I consider the BC my rough buoyancy adjustment and my lungs to be my fine buoyancy adjustment. So rough adjustments, oh, I'm definitely changing my depth permanently uh, a great deal. That's gonna require a, a, an adjustment of my rough adjuster and going down, making a, a downward change permanently, that's also a rough adjustment. However, temporary or small adjustments I will often do with my lungs. And here's an example. So here I, oh, that, that sounded bad. All right, so here I am. Let's imagine I'm, I'm going along the bottom, doing something fun, right, looking at some stuff, and I'm going to make a temporary upward change in buoyancy. All right, now, going up, my BC is going to expand a bit. So what I could do is I could vent some of the air out of my BC, but then let's say that was going to be a temporary change. So for example, let's say there is an obstacle here that I need to go over, right? So Scuba Steve's gonna come up and then over. So if Scuba Steve went up here, let air out of his BC, and then came back down, he'd have to put air back in his BC again. It's kind of wasteful, and it, it just uses more energy, and actually, it, it, those things add up with your air consumption, because these are motions of your body. So, another way to do that, so coming along, come up over the obstacle. Now, the BC is going to increase its buoyancy because the air bubble is going to get larger. So I have to compensate that with my lungs. So what I'm going to do is I am going to exhale, right? I'm going to make my lungs small. And then like if here's, here's my total lung volume, like we're in, out, in, out. What I do is I exhale and then, right? So I'm up here and I'm breathing, as I call it, off the bottom of my lungs. Right, so the lungs are relatively empty, and then like that. And what that's going to do is that's going to, to really reduce the buoyancy of my lungs, and hopefully that will offset the increased buoyancy of my BC. And then when I return to my normal depth, I can return to my normal breathing pattern. The same way, let's say I'm, I'm kind of high off the bottom, for whatever reason, and the bottom's down here, maybe a few meters or so below, and let's say I wanna go down to look at something, or God forbid I dropped my compass or my knife, or I'm gonna go down and I know it's temporarily. I'm gonna do just the opposite. If I go down, I could inflate my BC, right? And then do my thing, come back up, and then deflate my BC. As I said, wasteful, okay? So what I could do is go down. So as I go down, my BC is going to contract. So I'm gonna lose buoyancy. So I'm going to counteract that lack of buoyancy by filling up my lungs 
and then doing the opposite, as I explained before. I'm going to breathe off the top of my lungs, I call it. So I fill up my lungs and then... So my lungs are more full. I'm still breathing, but I'm breathing off them. So I've increased my buoyancy. And then as I go back up, my, my BC is going to go back to its previous volume, which means it's, it's going to be floaty perfectly for where I am here. And then my lungs, I can go back to my normal breathing pattern and continue on at this depth. So that's for temporary depth changes. Other situations where I'll do it is if I, you know, temporarily lose my buoyancy by accident and I, right, I'm going to, you know, if I lose my depth, I'm going to, right, I'm going to puff up. So I, 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 if I have to add air to my BC, it will be minimal. And the same thing with if I happen to lose my buoyancy upward for whatever reason, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to, right, I'm going to exhale like crazy trying to fight that. This also helps when you're launching an SMB. So sometimes uh, you're, when I'm reeling in an SMB, especially up near the safety stop every once in a while, you know, I'm trying to, if there's a wind or a current and the SMB is getting uh, long on you, right? So the, you should have the SMB in a very vertical position so that you are an accurate depth reference, right? Because if you're at 5.5 meters, at the bottom of a line like this, you're at 5.5 meters. But if you're at 5.5 meters and your SMB line is running off like this, well, you don't know what depth you're at because you could, right, the line runs out more, you're gonna be at 4.4, or if the line starts to get straight, now you're at six or seven meters. So you want that straight. So one way, if there's a current that's running it out to help yourself is you might want to be a little bit negative. And one way to, to achieve that is exhaling. So very often when I'm fighting to get my SMB vertical, I'll get negative pulling down on it, pulling down on it. That's a technique I'll use around six meters or so, something like that. Okay, those are some ways that you could use your lungs to fine tune your buoyancy. Maybe you have some other ideas or drills. Hopefully I gave you some concrete things that you can work on. Report back, let us know how it's working in the comments below. Thanks a lot, see you on the beach.